Some people in the comments wanted to know if I could melt obsidian glass in my microwave kiln. So I tried it, posted the video, but unfortunately it didn't work. And some people in the comments of that video suggested that I let it cool down quickly, you know, like what happens when it's naturally formed. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop it in the microwave for 15 minutes. Turns out it took a total of 25 minutes. I'm going to pop the lid off and look, it's all puffed up just like the last one. And the temperature's in the 40s today, so this thing is going to cool down quickly. It doesn't look like it's going to work to me. It just looks like a big puffy pile of obsidian. I left it outside for about 30 minutes. So now I'm going to pick it up and take it indoors so I can get a better look at it. So I've done this a couple of different times in different ways, but it just seems like it turns out the same every time. But let's get a better look at it. Okay, so it's cooled completely down now. So I'm going to pick it up and check it out, pull some of this kiln paper off. But this thing is just very brittle and just falls apart. So I don't think this experiment is going to work with my microwave kiln, but there may be another way to do it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments.